Next, we got Optic Texas, the boys. Uh, let's not be biased here. I know a lot of people are going to want bias from us, but you're not getting it. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it, you know. Well, I'll start off then. I, I, I did like something like this, but I, I actually like ranked them in order. And I mean, people might not like it. Well, we'll do that we, after we have everything. And then, well, I'm and not then doing we'll it rank. in order. Well, but I'm just saying that after based we, on. After we rank everyone, we'll go through and actually rank them in order from like tier to tier. You know what I'm saying? And give yeah, like a, okay, a, a 1 through go 12. Ahead. But yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Damon. What are you saying? I lost my train of thought. Just go ahead. All right. We've I'm going got, I was going somewhere. I'm going B for Optic Texas. You're going B for Optic Texas. I'm going B for Optic Texas. I think just like Boston, just like New York, they can compete with every single team. I think their former roster, top of B or, or bottom of A, um, I, don't agree like, with that. I don't like the new unknown variable. I, I don't like how close they were. We talked about it yesterday. I don't like the change from the outside looking in based on their performance. We, we don't know what was going on personally behind the scenes, but just objectively, I have to go B. I, I think you could have made the argument within during the roster for A, but this team didn't necessarily need more raw talent or slaying, right? And, and I guess that's what goes to you as, as a slayer. And, and I, I, I don't know. I think B is fair. Seth? He walk away at this cat. Oh, yeah, he's kicking. What do you think, Damon? Well, I know we're not talking about orders, but I thought in my eyes, I mean, I'm a little biased and it won't make sense really, but I thought they were like the fourth best team. So I, I don't know. Like if there was a middle between A and B right here, I think they should be there if there was like an A, B. Uh, do I think they're on New York's level? I don't want to put them up there because like New York won an event. Like Optic, Optic had a chance. But because of that, I just I don't think I can put them in A. But like, really? I think they're close here's, to it. Here's the fact: so they I were had to get top, up to let my cat out. My bad. They if... were they were a top four team with Ender, right? I yeah. would put them behind New York in A with their roster with Ender. You have a new unknown variable from Challengers. We have no idea how he's going to perform. We have no idea how the team chemistry is going to look. We have no idea um, if they're going to lose some intangibles by losing Ender. I think B is the safest bet. I'll put them at the top of B. I know we're going to go through uh, at the end and, and rank them, but I think the top of B is fair, right? We'll, we'll put them ahead of Boston for the time being because, well, they beat us at the major with their former roster. But it just, it's an unknown quantity now. It's not the same roster. And you're adding a legitimate challenger player who has never played at the pro level, let alone played with the pressure of that optic crowd at the optic home major with – Thousands of people on his back if he has a bad map or bad series. Oh, I mean, I'm going top of B. I mean, I, I can't pick with the new roster. I'm going based off this. Like picking the new roster, who fucking knows, bro? We might be a D team now. We might be an <laughs> S team. I, I don't know. There's no way we're dropping the D, David. I mean, you never fucking know. There's no way, dude. I mean, this you goes. Never know. To, you never know. I'll give you that, but I, I think. This team, I would also probably put them in B, even though my heart wants to put them in A. This team, they had a great split. They had a great, great split. But there were a lot, a lot, a lot of butt clenchers through that split. Mm -hmm. Like every single series they played, butt clenched. I mean... And we're talking points. about record breaking numbers for the dub. Two two points in hard point, five points in a hard point, six points in hard like every single map just felt like it was so unbelievably close. They weren't really comfortable series. Um so I think that we gotta put the boys in B. I think with this ghosty kid, if he plays like he was in Challengers, hypothetically. I mean, if he's dropping 1.3s at the pro level, they'll probably be an A-tier team. Do I think he's going to drop 1.3s <laughs> against Simp and Selium after dropping 1.3s on, uh, you know, Shawnee and Pander? No. No disrespect to anybody, but we're talking about a completely different level of competition here. My bad for cutting you off earlier, Damon, by the way. If you if you've just tell, oh, me, no, shut, you're fine. Just tell I, me to shut the fuck up. Like, if, I'm, no, no, like if you have a point, just tell me to shut the fuck up, literally. Because, <laughs> like, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to kill your train of thought. But, yeah, I think uh, 
I think these guys are definitely a B team uh, right now. I think, honestly, if Ghosty comes in and gives them a 1.1 consistently, I mean, this team's going to be super, super dangerous. Super dangerous. Um, but I'm excited for the future. Some new, fresh blood with an amateur player coming in. I think that they already had the motivation to be the best team. Uh, now I think it only invigorates them just a little bit more to, to push beyond that that next barrier and get up towards towards the S tier, but B tier for me. Um, oh, look who we have next. The when do matches start? 